Where can you find some of the most incredible hikes and picturesque villages just a few hours outside of London? Keep watching to see our top places to hit in the idyllic Peak District. We're in the Peak District. We've got four days here and there are so many things you could possibly do, but we're going to narrow it down to our top seven highlights. We've got some hikes planned, we're going to visit loads of villages, we're going to a manor, I'm really excited. And we've got our doggy with us on this trip as well, so it's all going to be dog friendly. Number one on our Peaks District list is definitely Mam's Tour hike. We got up super early this morning at 4 a.m. to come and watch the sunrise at the top of the mountain with about 100 other people. And now we're just doing this hour and a half to two hour hike along the ridge line. We've got amazing views on either side of the mountain. Spectacular. Definitely, definitely worth doing. Definitely worth the number one spot on the list. Numero uno. <laughs> Next up on our list, coming in at number two, is Chatsworth House. If you're a fan of Pride and Prejudice, this is the place to go. Chatsworth House was the set for the dreamy Mr. Darcy's Pemberley home. It was also the stunning backdrop for the Kira Knightley movie, The Duchess. We lucked out with a super sunny day to explore these incredibly gorgeous manicured gardens. Number three on our list is Lud's Church. We've just started. It's meant to be about an hour and an hour and a half walk. We'll see how long it takes us though because the directions are a little bit vague. So if we don't make any wrong turns, it'll be about an hour <laughs> and a half. We haven't even gotten to the church yet and the walk is already so so magical there's like all these green mossy trees and it's misty it's amazing so we have made it to Lud's church and it is so so amazing even though we're a little bit damp definitely worth the hike here it was about a half an hour 45 minute hike to get here and the name church comes from the middle ages when non-catholic christians were persecuted if they practiced their religion so they came here to worship and it's a pretty spectacular church it's a very hidden spot it's probably yeah. 20 meters <laughs> down into this gorge steep on either side completely covered in green moss and just absolutely gorgeous super lush Number four on our list is Colbar's Edge and it is stunning. The views behind us are insane. It's been a little bit cloudy and misty to start, but the wind's blown it over and the views have just come into their own. It is incredible. It's about a seven kilometer round loop walk. We don't know if we're gonna do it all yet because we've got the little doggy with us, so we'll see, but it is incredible. So, so beautiful. And we may or may not have picked this because it's one of the filming <laughs> locations of Pride and Prejudice. I didn't know that until now. <laughs> Learning something. Very romantic. We weren't sure if we'd peaked early at the start of the walk, but all of it has been amazing. We've just crossed over Fogart Bridge. We're having a little break here now, enjoying this beautiful view of the bridge and the Derwent River, I think it's called, but we're over halfway. It's been lovely. A few kilometers to go. You're not a hiking dog, are you? It's a bit early, but if you're doing this walk a little bit later in the day, there's a pub right there that you can go get a pint and some lunch, which sounds heavenly right now. <laughs> it's a bit damp, isn't it? We have just finished our morning hike and decided to stop off in the beautiful little village of Eames for a quick coffee and some breakfast. It is so, so beautiful, but it's also known as the Plague Village, and that's because during the 1600s, they kind of pioneered quarantine here during an outbreak of the Black Plague. The amount of people that must have died in 1665 in this town is just incredible. It's gone all the way up to April 1666, but most of them, the deaths in 1665 are just... A very sad time for the town. Number six is checking out the town of Bakewell, which are famous for the Bakewell puddings, which it's puff pastry with a layer of strawberry jam through it. So give it a try. Is it worth, worth the hype? 
honest opinion. It's yummy, but there's other desserts that I'd prefer, I think. After Peter devoured his pie, we had a lovely walk ambling through this adorable little village. Number seven is the sweetest can be village, Ashford in the water. We had driven past a few times and admired it as the car sped past, but being able to stop and explore was so much fun. It's only a small little village, but it was the perfect spot to slow down, rest our feet and enjoy a tasty Sunday roast. While we sampled some amazing highlights, we have left so many hikes untrodden and towns unvisited. We will definitely be back to spend another cozy autumn weekend here very soon. If you loved this vlog, you should also check out our Weekend in the Lake District for more weekend ideas from London.